with a focus now shifting to the parliamentary leadership. The last week has been a monumental one with cabinet being gutted just about entirely and an inspector general of police handing in his resignation papers. It all started with a social media hashtag in protest against the punitive taxes contained in the finance bill of 2024. It has, however, morphed into a much bigger conversation on how this country is run and what is expected of its leadership in line with the Constitution. But how far will the wind of change carry and alter the way citizenry hold its government to account? <laughs> It's a revolution of sorts that came with its own soundtracks, dance moves, and catchphrases. Bold, informed, and unapologetic, the TikTok generation pricked a nation's conscience, demanding fidelity to the constitution. Failed by their institutions, they put their faith in Article 1-1 of the Constitution. All sovereign power belongs to the people of Kenya. They turned their phones into instruments of democracy. The unity of purpose, relegating decades of ethnic division to the past and resisting attempts by online mercenaries to hijack the conversation through divide and rule along economic classes. Desperate to get their voices heard on the controversial finance bill of 2024, TikTok became a tool for education, with videos on the bill getting upward of 500 million views, according to digital researcher and strategist Nando. In whatever language, from any part of Kenya, TikTok gave them a voice. And when their voices went unheard, their protests spilled onto the streets. Phones used to raise awareness and support for victims of police excesses. Their leaders were forced to pay attention. The citizens engaged their representatives directly and unabashedly on X spaces that are reminiscent of the public baraza. It is a leadership issue. It is, it is an issue about leading an organization. Citizens summoning their leadership directly and no longer through their representatives on issues of public concern. And it has catapulted a whole new crop of opinion shapers and political influencers, resulting in the dissolution of the cabinet and most recently the resignation of former Inspector General of Police Jafet Kome. The agenda evolving from the finance bill to one of reform. Has it fundamentally changed how Kenyans hold leadership to account?